Clara, I have to start by asking about the artwork behind you because I hear that that's, uh, that's made by somebody very close to you. Yeah, well, it's made by my mom. I told her when I moved in I needed some pictures and my mom, she likes to draw just for her mental health and just because it's a lot of fun for her, so she drew me this uh, nice picture. Now, you were born with your vision impairment, so can you explain to us what you can and can't see and, and how that affects your everyday life? Um, I can, by now, well can't really see any real things. I can see some light on the on the right eye, like all in the top part. I can see when something is moving against the yeah, bright background. And on my left eye, I can still see some shapes, but it always depends on the lighting and on my condition in the moment. And like when I'm tired, I can't see anything anymore. And am I right in saying that when you walk, you, you sort of look sideways, is that right? And that's created some, some knock-on problems? Yeah, most of the times, like when I would want to see the laptop in front of me, I would try to look like this. So now I can see the, the light from the laptop. So when I learned how to walk as a little kid, I turned my head to the side so I can look straight. And that always causes back problems that caused problems when I was young and that still causes problems because I still feel safer when I turn my head because my brain thinks that's safer because I might see something. And because you were born with your vision impairment your family have all had to get used to that right from the start and, and how important was your family and especially your sister Pia when you were growing up? Well, they are really important as for everybody. The parents are important and my parents, they had to learn how to deal with a blind kid and um, do all those things. But my sister, she's four years younger than I am and she just grew with it. Like she thought that every big sister is uh, disabled when she was a small kid. And in kindergarten, she started to, well, figure out that other people might not have blind sisters and she just is the best assistant that you can find because she does it on a normal basis she doesn't think about it and she most of the times knows when to assist me before I even know that I need to be assisted. So does she notice things and, and see things maybe before your friends or other people might? Of course, she notices when I fake it, like oftentimes I just pretend that I know what's going on. And most of the times Pia just knows that I don't. Um, for example, in discussions with many people, I just try to yeah, fake that I know what's going on. And she will always know if I'm focused or not or yeah, what I can do or can't. And she will understand better than anyone how you want to be treated? I think for her, it's not a discussion that I could be treated differently because of my disability. She just takes me as her sister and she comes to me as she would to another older sister um, asking for advice or wanting to go on a vacation or something. She just doesn't think about me being blind. How important is the mental health aspect of your life and what do you do to help that? I think uh, mental health is the base of physical health. If you're, you can practice so much, you can run and shoot as much as you want. If your head says no, you won't win. So in sport, mental health is really important, but also in daily life, like I'm I'm becoming blind since I was born and I can still see something. That's 27 years becoming blind. That's a long time <laughs> and it's not always fun. So mental health and strengthening mental health is really important. I myself, I have a lot of people around me helping me, but I also have a mental coach for my sport and I also have a psychologist um, helping me through situations where I can't cope with becoming blind. And what kind of things do you think people can do to improve their mental health? I think finding something like for me, it's yoga. 
for somebody else it might be crafting or doing some sport or just going out for a walk every day um, that keeps their mind off their daily business and kind of calms the mind is really important and then at least one person outside of your daily business you can talk to is really important it might be a friend it might be a psychologist it might be whoever but not your partner and not your closest family because they are always involved you can talk to them it's really important to talk to them but i think it's also important to have someone a little far from you that isn't involved in your daily business to talk to so if you want to hear more from clara klug then check out a winning mindset podcast on all major podcast platforms